Families play a critical role in supporting employment and other successful adult outcomes for youth with and without disabilities. And they are key resources that are often underutilized during the transition process. Effective transition programming must include outreach and communication efforts to engage families and create collaborative relationships with schools, programs, and services. It is not always easy for families to be effective partners in the transition process, but there are specific strategies that support partnerships and, in turn, create better outcomes for youth and their families. It is important to recognize the following key concepts when engaging families in the transition process. The 21st century definition of family is more flexible and open-minded, including extended families, non-relatives, single parents, mixed cultures, etc. Communication with families is important, as is individualizing communication strategies for each family. Families need to be seen as partners in the process. Families come from diverse cultural backgrounds, and there needs to be strategies to address those specific issues. Families of individuals with significant disabilities face unique and sometimes complicated and sensitive issues that need to be addressed, such as guardianship and benefits management. Families take on many roles in the lives of their children. In engaging families and keeping in mind the key concepts discussed above, Professionals should recognize the roles family members take on and develop strategies to encourage those roles that are supportive and readjust those that hinder a youth's progress. Let's mention some supportive roles family members can take on. Support. Emotional. Financial. Transportation. Cheerleader. Guide. Counselor. Instructor. Network. Offer job leads. Role model, partner, collaborator with youth and professionals. Advocate, decision maker, mentor. How do we partner with families? There are several proven strategies for effectively partnering with families in the transition process. Naturally, each family has its own characteristics and must be approached individually. Transition professionals can individualize these recommended strategies with each family. To engage families as partners, one must mutually define everyone's role in the process, establish and recognize joint interests, establish and maintain open communication, engage in activities that support achieving a common goal, share the decision-making responsibilities, establish that everyone is accountable. Follow through on promised actions. Offer positive reinforcement to all parties. Celebrate the successes. Professionals may also use formalized structured strategies to successfully engage families. These strategies include information giving sessions, parent liaison networks, parent networking opportunities, family-centered planning. Information giving sessions are group meetings where families may receive information on transition. These sessions provide knowledge, arm families with the facts, and give all families the same information. Forum, offer information in a setting where families can comfortably ask questions. Skills, help families ask the right questions. Parent networking opportunities are planned events where groups of families gather. They provide communication, create comfortable opportunities for families to talk to other families about common experiences, safety, offer settings that are informal and non-threatening, trust, families inherently trust their peers, parent networking opportunities are planned events where groups of families gather. They provide communication, create comfortable opportunities for families to talk to other families about common experiences. Safety, offer settings that are informal and non-threatening. Trust, families inherently trust their peers. Family-centered planning sessions allow for youth and their families to meet and develop an individualized plan. These sessions provide involvement, actively involve family members in the planning process for their youth's future. Listening, 
Listen and respond to families' fears, concerns, dreams, needs, and ideas. Inclusion. Include family members as responsible parties in the action planning and help them take ownership of the plan. In summary, successful outcomes for youth with disabilities are often directly related to the level and nature of family involvement in the process. Although the definition of families in the 21st century is continually evolving, there are proven strategies to positively engage families that can be adapted to individual families. By playing to the specific strengths of individual families, understanding their cultural backgrounds and needs, and by following the strategies of giving clear information, showing respect, offering opportunities for open communication, and fully involving families in all aspects of the process, professionals can pave the way for more successful youth outcomes.